So hello everyone and thanks for watching this shiny app showcase. I I really hope you like this project well and well uh, let's start with this demonstration of the app. So what's the purpose of the of the app called Cash Watch? Let's think in the following situation. Uh, you're living in for example Latin America and you have to go to the ATM quickly. The ne nearly uh, ATM uh, very quickly because you have uh, another th uh, pending soon another thing to do. And so you need uh, to select the nearest ATM that actually works properly. Uh, I mean, so the question here is, how do you do that? Actually, you don't know if the ATM works properly at the moment or it's being repaired. Uh, so for this situation, I create this shiny app uh, called CashWatch. The idea is very simple. You have two options here. Uh, you can use your actual location or select a custom location. Then the app shows you a recommendation of the nearest ATM that have the lowest probability probability of being working right now. Uh, the map will show you uh, a real time route to go to the recommended ATM using the OSMR API, and I think this is a very useful for all the people because you are able to choose the, the transfer method like vehicle, like food, like car, uh, everything that works for you at the moment. So now, let's see a demo of the app using my current location. As you can see, when you click in the use your current location button, the application will make a request for the information through my, my browser. Then this is an archive through JavaScript code. Uh, which is found as an attachment in the GitHub repository. Uh, once it obtains uh, that information, the application will calculate which ATM is more convenient for for me uh, or the people or the person that is using the application at the moment. Uh, based on my, of the time of my day, my establishment location, and the and the reports that the ATM ha uh, has had about uh, failures in in their operations. Once the ATM has been selected, the application will show you the route to get uh, to that point, depending on the, uh, the type of transport that uh, has been chosen, for example, bicycle, uh, a car or foot, uh, some, uh, something of, of three methods of, of transport. Now, you can see that if I change the method of trans transportation, the route will automatically change in real time. Uh, this is the main function of the Chinese app. However, uh, it's a, it also provides you with more information in a general and particular way. Uh, at a general level, we can see a top of the ATMs that uh, have uh, have had uh, the most failures considering their, the, their, all their records. At a less general level, we can see a conditional text uh, telling us which is the recommended ATM. And using the data, uh, the text tells you the la the last fa failure date. Well, let's see a second example using an address in the browser. Uh, uh, putting putting manually the the address. As you can see, when you start to write an address, the text input auto completes the information which uh, just suggests the address. This is achieved thanks to the Google API, which uh, will also generate the latitude and longitude uh, of the enter location. So that uh, from this recommended on an ATM. Uh, something important to mention you know, at this point is that an, op uh, an observer event was established uh, like a conditional. Uh, if we select uh, our current location, the program removes uh, what we have writing in the text input. And otherwise, if we manually chose a location, it will remove the selection of the current location button. The objective of this is to avoid the the, the error message uh, when select uh, when we select the uh, the nearest ATM. Now, finally, we have a last option in the application which allows us to send the information of, of our current location to our mail. This using the the Gmail R package, and use and obviously using the uh, uh, Gmail API. Uh, as uh, as you can see, uh, when I put the my my actual mail, uh, this automatically sends the inf this information to my to my mail account. Well, uh, I would like to close this showcase by saying that this app uh, was collaborated in certain tools, so I want to give credits for it to Eugenio Mora, Sebastián Ocampo, and Diego Lopez, uh, a good friends for me and. Uh, 
very uh, are very good uh, programmers. I will. I would like to to thank all the people who are listening the, uh, to this uh, Shiny App Showcast, as well as extend an invitation to review the application and on their own computers, uh, since it's, it is available on Shiny App on the Shiny App server, and to download the code so they can be uh, they can play and experiment with uh, with the application. Uh, the Shiny library has shown me that absolutely anything it's possible in R, and despite the fact that uh, this application is it i think yeah i know it's quite interesting um uh, but i i i'm i'm really sure that it, it is not the limit of the library so i invite all the people who who see me right now to use the code of this of this app and make their own projects and if this is is possible create something new and more interesting well uh, thanks a lot for for the for giving me your time and 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 see this uh, shiny up showcase.